Due to a rise in COVID-19 cases among staff and students, Floorsville ISD is extending the Labor Day weekend. The superintendent says that will give the district an opportunity to do some deep cleaning and provide planning time for teachers and staff. Tiffany Huerta is hearing the familiar concerns of one Floorsville ISD parent and what COVID cases look like right now in that district. I'm a single parent. I have to be at work every day. I can't stay home with my children, and that does make it hard. As COVID cases rise at Floresville ISD schools, Valerie Alexander has concerns if campuses were to close for longer periods of time. Speaking for my children, they learn better with hands-on. Doing things virtually, they don't really understand. Valerie has two kids that go to Floresville South Elementary School, where there's 56 active cases of COVID-19 as of August 30th. I think with this shutdown, with the deep cleaning that they, that they are planning on doing, I think it would help. The district is reporting 262 active cases among students and staff. To address the rise in cases, the district will be closed September 3rd through the 7th. Well, obviously it is a concern. Floresville ISD Superintendent Jason Gilstrap says all buses and campuses will be deep cleaned and teachers will have some time to build on virtual assignments. We wanted to make sure uh, our, our families and our students had an opportunity to um, get over an illness if they have it or exhibit symptoms and so potentially limit that exposure while we're on campus. Gilstrap says currently they only offer rapid testing for staff but are exploring options for students. If you're sick, if you have symptoms, please stay home. Uh, call us and we're going to still try to engage those students and those staff members. The district says they are currently limiting visitors, disinfecting buildings and hand sanitizer is available throughout schools. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.